Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, this is filmed the same day as my last video, but you're not going to see it for a few days. I just thought I'd do a flip through of what I'm going to be doing going forward into 2024. I've had people wanting a bind a flip through. Now, let me just tell you something. I'm not as exciting as a lot of these budgeters. Um, probably why I don't get as many views, <laughs> let's be honest. But what I do is what I need. So... This, I'm going to try and make it a bit quicker because I feel like my videos are far too long. So I have a long term priority binder. Um, let me just try and... So in this one, I picked this one because it's really big and um, it can fit a lot of envelopes in. Not that we have a lot. So I have my house fund, which my goal for this is £5,000. Um, and then I'll be happy just to put like 10s and 20s in. So... I've done my house fund, um, I've got £2,000 in bank and then I'm doing this 52 week savings. So basically it's, I'll show you, you'll have seen it in my last one but it's a tracker. I've already started the December but we're going on to January now. Um, it doesn't matter that I haven't finished December, I will, I'll get to it. Um, and each envelope tells you how much you have to save and these are on... Um, 25% off on 34 cut at the minute so like January you'd save the four numbers each week and you just do that so this is what I'm using for my house fund um, and then when I've completed it I probably will do it quicker than it the 52 weeks but it doesn't matter I will put it into the bank so that's got £2,020 in at the minute emergency fund this isn't a typical emergency fund this is for um like if anything breaks in the house, the oven, the fridge, whatever. Um, I've got my winter buffer for next year. This is for extra, well, I'd use it now if I needed it. It's not like it has to be used next winter because we have literally just gone into winter. So if I was short on some gas, I'd just take it from here. But the plan is to try and build it up for next year over the summer and um, have a few hundred pound just to whack on the gas. Um, my driving lessons, like my top priority next year is to learn to drive. Um, so it it will be like my main goal 2024 to get this completed basically. And then I've got my car maintenance, which is obviously very, um, I don't even mark that one off. Um, this challenge is from Plan Budget with P. It's the car maintenance and MOT one. Um, so I'm just going to mark off another 10. Sorry, I did my cash stuff and I forgot. But yeah, this is for car maintenance. I think, I don't know, because again, I don't even drive yet. I'm still learning. But I think £500 for car maintenance. Maybe a 1000 Let me know how much you have. I don't know. These envelopes, by the way, are from La Belle UK. Absolutely gorgeous. Really nice quality. Um, And yeah, you can... She has different vinyl colours and stuff. So that's car maintenance. And then I've got my car insurance one. Again, the tracker is from um, Plan Budget Repeat and 20, 40, 60. I can't mark off another one of that yet. She did do me two trackers um, for car insurance, but I'll give my sister one. Um, so I've got this one and then I've got the car tax one to do next. So I'll do one and then the other. Because I do want to proper get ahead for my car. Because I know that first year insurance is going to be a killer. I mean the only saving grace is that I am 33, I'm not 17. Um, this has £500 in it. Or is it 600 I can't remember, I'm not counting all that. Oh, let me count now. I think it's 500 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, yeah, it's £500 saved for next year's six weeks holidays, and that is fully funded, but I do have a challenge from Becca, which, where did I put it, I've got it out, and I do, I need to put that in because I want to start adding more to it, uh, looks treat that is definitely not getting stuffed anytime soon. I've got too many priorities to be worrying about a looks treat that I don't need. And then I've just got one saying savings in case there's ever um, a challenge that I want to do when I don't have an envelope. Then the pet swan. This is from Budget Looks UK. And I got these lovely little um, saving challenges. I think these was from Surf 
from South Budget in Life, I think. Um, it's just loads of different animals and you just mix them up and then you put in what's what's what the animal is. But I'm going to start that in January. We're still in December. It's December 27th as I'm filming this. Um, and then I've got my holiday one, which has a bit of money in. And this is... I've got a challenge on the way um, for this one, which I'll show you when it comes. Um, so that's my long-term priority binder. Again, not very interesting, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then I have my short-term one. So these are my new envelopes. So I've got one for family, which is literally what it says anything want to go out anywhere i'm going to start bulking this one up i've got one for me and ryan for if we want to go on a date night if ryan wants something that i can treat him to um buffer i'm hit and miss with this one i'm a bit concerned that if i have a buff in the bank i'll just have a reason to waste it even though i'm on a low spend year next year and i'm not buying anything etsy laugh away i'll prove you all wrong I did say to Jasmine last night that I was joking, I said, I never said that I couldn't buy off Dingley Designs' his website, and I also never said that I couldn't bank transfer in here. <laughs> I'm going to try, at least, to get through what I've got first. Once I've used what I've got, then by all means I can buy off my friends, but Etsy, I'm, down, I'm deleting the app. Um, clothes, we don't need any clothes, but obviously it's in the annual, this is for stuff like um valentine's day easter um stuff like that whole fair if you're from like yorkshire it's a big massive fair um yeah just stuff bonfire night stuff like that technology i really want to save up for to pay off bigger amounts of our mobile phones um yeah uniform that's fully funded for next year so there should be 220 40 60 81 20, 40, 60, 82. So next year I'll only have three in school. And then their dad, their dad will put some towards it too. So 200 is plenty enough for that. And then Etsy, which is just going to look pretty. And <laughs> um, then I've got this gifted from Budget Look School Half Term. And I've got my Halloween one, which I will start again. Probably like this can come out because it's not... Um, the only thing I don't like about these challenges is that they're not you can't reuse them so it feels like a waste of money to me um yeah we will start that in about six months and then christmas bits and bobs um with a track from charles 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 cash budget one of my friends so that is my that is all my sinking funds um and then i have our family birthday binder so we have my son alfie He's going to go to the back soon. He has £100 in here, which I'm going to give him. I've spent £400 on him because um, he's going to be 18. He had £500 in total. Abigail has, um, she had 250 but I've been spending out of it. So I've got uh, some gifts and I'm going to take her into town and do some sales shopping. So her birthday's in, Alpha's is the 3rd of January and Abigail's is the 19th. Thomas, I've actually spent well more than I should have on him but he's coming up to 13 and yeah um he he um oh he's just he's just an amazing little boy and I get emotional talking about my little Thomas um he's got autism and he just makes me proud every I mean they all make me proud but when you've got send children you understand um, and then I've got Rosie and Imogen Rose, which is two days apart. So Rosie's is the 7th, Imogen's is the 9th. And yeah, they will, they're getting started next. Um, and I've got mine, and then Ryan's just had his on the 18th. And then I've got one just for like family gifts at the back. This is from La Belle. These are from Babes That Budget Shop. Um, the same place that I got these from. Did I say? Yeah, these are also from babes at budget shop can you tell a theme that i like certain envelopes <laughs> um labelle and babes at budget so we're going to challenges now so i've showed you this one and then we have my um 500 binder from labelle 
So this is going back into sinking funds, um, whichever needs bulking up at the time. I'm going to guess that it'll probably go mostly towards my car stuff, car insurance, etc. Um, but yeah, we've we've done quite a bit on this one. And I like absolutely, this, this binder is my absolute favourite thing. So again, La Belle UK, again, you can tell I have my favourite things. Um, and then I have my 100 envelope box, which I'm doing. This is from um, Charlotte from Dingley Designs. And this is how much I've done. This is um, for my car. So it saves 5050 and I'm trying to get through it um, in the next coming year. But it just depends how long it takes me to learn to drive. Um, I've had like 15 lessons so far. And I think like it's going quite well, but obviously I'm still a while away from even putting in for my um, driving test. So I've got another one for my 100 envelopes. So this binder's from, I always forget the name, Pretty Perfect Products, but I got off Vinted. It was a bargain. Um, and I like that you can add like loads of stuff to it and it's just really nice and roomy. So I've got another 100 envelope tracker, um, it's for the same challenge, it's just so I can see it in front of me. And then we're going to be starting these in January, for the full year, most of them. Um, so this is the 2024 savings challenge from Dingley Designs, I got this out of our advent calendar. And it comes with the envelope. And then we've got, you got a roll, you got a roll for it, not you got a roll with it. And not Wonderwall either, Charlotte. Um, inside dirt between us both so i got this in my advent calendar again it's the you've got a roll roll for it and it came with this gorgeous like sunset dice and this saves 1260 so all these in here are quite you know big challenges and then we've got the spin spin it save it which we're going to try and do at least six months for um it just depends how much it it kills me for <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna try at least do this till summer um and maybe put that i don't know i want to i just want to save all the money in here i've got the monthly savings challenge which is from um again la belle uk um and it's just really small denominations look 50 30 i am thinking about putting this one into my small binder just because it's 500 pound in fact i'm definitely gonna do that we'll do that in a minute um and then we've got my one the save the year from iShare, which i don't have any idea how much this comes up to i know it's over a thousand pound but basically what you do is i've got three the three months in there for now and i've had this for a full year in fact uh, i can't remember that. It just frightens the life out of me. So basically January, you'd save all the ones on the front and then the letters on the back. Um, and as you go on in time, January is one and then March would be three and December would be 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So December's like terrifying. But yeah, I think it saves over a thousand pound. I've got the rest of the cards. I just don't want to overfill my binder. So that's from um, Aisha. And then I've got this off Planning with Ella, it's the 10 Fridays, so basically every Friday you put £10 in. Um, I'm probably not going to do it on a Friday, I'm just going to do it in the week when we, whenever we cash stuff this binder. And at the end we have £5.20. Um, and then I've got the one from the Queen Bee Makes, which is the Save a Friday, so every Friday you save the date, so like Friday the 5th, Friday the 12th, um, and then that would save... 811 and then you've got a bonus square for four pound and then i've got the 12 month saver which is 800 pound which we'll do once a month um so yeah that's in my long term binder i do have two two more um things coming um which i'll show you when they come but i kept getting a lot of requests for this are you going to do your you video for what you're doing are you gonna do your video and i'm like yeah it's, i'm just waiting and they're like oh it doesn't matter just do it now and i'm just like oh. so i am waiting for two more things for my long term i think it's for my long term i can't remember fully right last binder so this one is my my short term savings 
So these are going back into sinking funds. So this is my spooky savings. So basically the concept of this is you pick a card out. I've got loads of them. You scratch it off. When you scratch it off, you have a little um, picture. You find the picture. The picture then has the number on that you have to save. So I like little spiders are five, the skulls are 30, the cauldron 20. And it saves £300 in total. So that's for this one. So I'll put that back there now. Um, what I'm going to do before I forget is just put this. Let me just put it back to the front. I don't know why I put this in my long term one anyway. Because, yeah. It's not, it's not big, is it? So we'll put that there. So yeah, that's that one. And that's the Spooky Savings Challenge. And then we've got the Gummy Bears, which is from Surf's Budget in Life. And then this is literally just like the 1 to 20 challenge. Um, you just colour the little gummy bears in. And yeah, at the end we have £210, which again, we're going to savings um, sinking funds. And we've got Candy Landy. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the shop one second. It says it on it. So this is the Little Budget Co. It's really cute and I love the envelope. It comes with it, but if you go on a website, it doesn't make it known that it comes with this gorgeous envelope. And I, she was like, oh, I need to um, put the pictures better, don't I? I was like, oh, I was really surprised because I didn't expect it to come with it. So basically, I'm just doing this. Um, I'm marking them as I come to them. I'm not doing it just as one. I worked it out, it's £68, so I'm just going to keep going until it has a few... 100 200 like that one i've been on twice that one you know just just to get some um, funds and then this is the i dare you which i got uh, this week's money 55 how dare she do this to me so um this week i got 35 17 and 4 so i'm doing four at a time you can cheat and scratch this and it tells you how much you've got but i'm not doing that um but yeah, this is from Dingley Design. She did do an, an, a stock um, on her website yesterday, but I think a lot of it sold out. So look out in January for um, Dingley Designs' restock. And then we've got Out of This World, which is just a little cute £100 challenge, which came in my advent calendar. Um, and we've got... Do we have three left? Three left and then that £100 is going to go into Rosie's birthday. It was for Thomas's birthday but we've already done his. Um, I've got here for the cash hunt which is a little board game which I haven't started yet because we're going to do this one first, finish this and then move on. Um, again we're just going to do this for a while and just keep going with it. We'll just like mark it and just keep doing it. Um, this is a joke because I always say that she says hun which she does. Um, and then this gorgeous one is off Scouse Girl Budgets, um, which she put in my little advent calendar for me. So we're going to do this one first, and I've started it. Um, and it's the Paint Palette Pounds, which is cute. She's very good at um, a little names. And then we've got Save the Swear from Jasmine, which I owe at £15 because I've pre-scratched. So if you don't like swearing, look away now. But it's to save the swear. She made it pink for me. And you can have these numbers whatever you want. So this week's was twat. Um, I don't think they're like really, really bad swear words. Like the C word. I don't think they're that bad. I could be wrong. Jasmine loves to swear as do most of us. Um, and then I've got this one ready for when I've finished the paint palette from Becca from Scow Scow Budgets. Um... Which is the smiling saver that's 60 so that's ready to go next i do have a lot of challenges ready so as soon as i've done one in here so like for example this monthly challenge one i'll put the 50 pound straight in to summit once i've done it um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do um so yeah once i've done one I'll get another one out and then we'll just keep going until we have none left basically. And this binder was in my um, advent calendar as well. So I think that's everything. I've got my two pots which this one 
is for the change i'm not i'm not um tracking change this year i'm just sticking in if it's below one pound it goes in here and this one is going to be for any that i do that don't have an envelope with them um i've got quite a few literally on the top of my wardrobe if you're on my instagram you'll see i have so many saving challenges and i have ordered some um like I'll tell you, because you'll have seen it. Like for this one, for example. I got the one of Lazy Flamingo Designs. You know, the one that Kerry's just completed. I forgot his name. It's like the bright, bright colour one. It's like the scratch off. I think it's 7 50 I got that, for example. Um, and well, I've got a lot of challenges. I'm good for um, next year. Um, but I think that that's what I'm doing. Um and obviously i have stuff ready to go for when i finish like this is the one that i need to put in my um summer holidays i knew i'd got it these are the rest of the cards so this is december you see 96 that's just the front um then i've got abby's book no not abby's book this one's becca's book um got becca's book where did abby's book go oh i don't know got rock paper scissors why isn't that in there um, and then i've got these as well which i think i'm going to start in spring so i've got everything ready um for what i want to do let me know what you think let me know if you think i'm crazy doing all these challenges um i better go though because i've just filmed two one hour videos <laughs> um let me just put this rock paper scissors is going here wouldn't it yeah i've a few coming because because i knew that i wasn't going to be doing my etsy next year i was trying to get what i wanted like look how thick this is now i need to set that back out um i was trying just to buy the stuff that i knew i wanted like i seen one on budget with honey um, and it was like can you save and i was like uh i need that um and i really liked it so i bought myself that one so there's a few like that come in, which will go in my short term one. Like these ones, I don't think they're in any real order because, where have I put it? Family. Would it be in long term? Why would it be in, where is it? Oh, I can't bloody find out. It's because I've changed everything up. But yeah, I hope you like what I've done. I hope you like what I'm doing. Let me know if you think I've forgot anything because sometimes, here it is. Um, I'm going to take the fully funded out because I'm going to try and keep going with it. Um, this is another 150. Again, this was in my advent calendar from Becca. So I'm just going to, like you can never have too much money for the six weeks holidays, can you? So we're going to put that in there. Ha, oh, how nice does that look? Um, let me know if you think I've forgot anything. I don't think I have. I think I'm good with all my sinker funds so this is my long term this is my short term this is my birthday just one minute and these are my savings challenges oh i just love it isn't it gorgeous oh love them especially this one i really want the other white but i'm not paying any more money out for binders because i really do have a lot of binders i have the orange one i have i have a lot just sat on my wardrobe and i do need to send some stuff out to people which i said they could use um but yeah i'll leave it there and i've got my dip dab tin as well with my dab hats on which i haven't got any plans to put this in anytime soon but it's on my desk in case I decide to do something but I don't know I've just gone off the tin I like I've done the tin for so many years and I did the smash pot for so many years and yeah I just I think if you do something too much you just get bored of it like I've never done these before I see people doing irises I did have the 10k one but I give it away in a giveaway because it was just too big um so I got this one and I absolutely love this. So this feels like brand new to me because I've never done it before. I like this. This feels like brand new. So I'm like trying to change things up and not be samey this year. Um, but yeah, I will leave it there. Um, have a happy new year. If you have 
no this will go up after new year i hope you had a nice new year and i will see you all i don't know when <laughs> um bye everyone